As wildlife rehabilitators, the entire goal of our work is to return our patients to the wild where they belong. For the most part, once our patients have returned home, we don't hear about them or ever see them again. However, to help us determine just how successful our rehabilitation process is, sometimes we collect information from our patients after the release. One of the ways that we, and many others, keep an eye on birds in the wild is through a process called bird banding. Upon capture or release, a bird is fitted with a small plastic or metal band clasped loosely around their leg. In this way, scientists, when presented with a bird that has been banded before, can tell where that bird is from, where that bird has traveled to, and even sometimes how old it is. Upon release, some of our birds are fitted with GPS tracking units. These trackers, powered by a solar battery, transmit data on the bird's location up to a satellite and then back down to Earth, where it is studied and used by rehabilitators and scientists alike. Other animals upon release are given other identifiers, such as an ear tag, which helps wildlife professionals, rehabilitators, and scientists know whether or not this animal has been treated or captured before. Understanding how animals move, behave, and live after rehabilitation and release helps us to ensure that we are doing our jobs well. Most of our patients, however, aren't given identification or tracking devices upon release and are simply allowed to return to the wild, never to be seen or heard from again. And truly, every patient returned to the wild where they belong is a job well done for a wildlife rehabilitator.